Huawei, a prominent player in telecommunications and electronics, is making notable advancements in semiconductor technology with the development of 3 nanometers chips. This achievement is especially significant given the limitations imposed by U.S. export restrictions, which have barred Huawei from obtaining the latest extreme ultraviolet lithography equipment. Instead, Huawei, in collaboration with its manufacturing partner Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, is using deep ultraviolet lithography to reach this technological milestone. This article explores the implications, challenges, and strategic maneuvers of Huawei's ambitious initiative. Huawei's chip development journey has faced significant hurdles, primarily due to geopolitical tensions and trade restrictions imposed by the U.S. These sanctions have prevented Huawei from using advanced EUV lithography, which is essential for producing the latest semiconductors. Despite these challenges, Huawei remains steadfast, focusing on using DUV equipment to produce 3 nanometers chips. SMIC, China's leading semiconductor manufacturer, plays a crucial role in this effort. The company has reportedly established an internal R&D team dedicated to advancing its 3 nanometers process technology using DUV lithography. This collaboration aims to reduce Huawei's dependence on foreign technology and boost China's self-sufficiency in the semiconductor sector. However, utilizing DUV equipment for manufacturing 3 nanometers chips presents several significant technical and strategic challenges. Deep ultraviolet, DUV lithography, Though effective for manufacturing earlier nodes like 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers, lacks the precision of extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography, resulting in lower yields and higher production costs. Developed by ASML, EUV lithography is the industry standard for producing the most advanced semiconductor nodes due to its capability to print finer details on silicon wafers. Huawei has been experimenting with quadruple bruple brute force technology for creating 5 nanometers chipsets. Reports indicate that SMIC has set up production lines for advanced processors, and the outcomes may soon be evident. By the end of this year, Huawei patented a new method titled Method for Manufacturing Self-Aligned Quadruple Pattern Semiconductor Apparatus and Semiconductor Apparatus. This self-aligned quadruple pattern technology is crucial for the production of advanced chips. It's a viable alternative for Chinese phone manufacturers who are restricted from accessing advanced chip-making tools due to U.S. sanctions. Self-aligned quadruple patterning SAQP, technology involves repeatedly etching lines on silicon wafers to increase transistor density and reduce power consumption, thereby enhancing performance. Both the Chinese government and Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, are reportedly exploring 3 nanometers process development using SAQP and double patterning DP, equipment. However, there are still challenges to overcome. Many tech experts believe this technology might only enable Chinese OEMs to develop a 5 nanometers process. Despite this, Huawei could potentially use it for 3 nanometers manufacturing. For now, self-aligned quadruple patterning may be the sole solution for SMIC and Huawei. This technology could enhance the production of both consumer electronics and AI-based processors. Let's approach this news with caution for now. SMIC's attempt to produce 3 nanometers chips using DV technology is seen as a complex and resource-intensive endeavor. Reports indicate that this method could lead to production costs up to 50% higher than those of leading manufacturers like TSMC and Samsung, who utilize ERUB technology. Additionally, achieving competitive yields presents a significant challenge, potentially affecting the commercial viability of these chips. To address these challenges, Huawei and SMIC are expected to receive substantial subsidies from the Chinese government. This financial support is essential for offsetting the high costs associated with DV-based 3 nanometers chip production. Furthermore, 
Huawei is making significant investments in its semiconductor R&D capabilities. The company is constructing a $1.6 billion R&D facility in Shanghai and has hired experienced engineers from top global semiconductor firms such as ASML, Intel, and TSMC. These strategic investments underscore Huawei's long-term vision of achieving technological self-reliance by developing its own semiconductor capabilities. Huawei is working to mitigate its exposure to external pressures and is innovating within the highly competitive tech industry. The company's efforts to develop 3 nanometers chips using DV technology could significantly impact the global semiconductor sector. Success in this area would represent a major leap for China's semiconductor capabilities and potentially reduce its reliance on Western technology. However, the competition is tough. Industry leaders like TSMC and Samsung are advancing towards 2 nanometers and smaller nodes, utilizing their advanced UV technologies. Huawei and SMIC will need to prove not just the technical feasibility, but also the commercial viability of their approach to establish a presence in this fast-evolving market. The ongoing development of 3 nanometers chips using DV equipment highlights Huawei's resilience and strategic ingenuity amid major geopolitical and technological challenges. Despite facing technical difficulties and high costs, a successful outcome could reshape the competitive landscape of the semiconductor industry provided there is substantial government support and strategic investment in R&D. The next few years will be crucial in assessing the success and impact of Huawei's ambitious venture into advanced semiconductor manufacturing and its contribution to China's goals of technological self-sufficiency.